Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for our monthly April 2017 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Capricorn. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, I'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the bottom card for the end of the month. Okay, very interesting. So, the beginning of the month, Capricorn. We have you taking some time out to reflect. Taking time to go within. Okay? A period of non-activity in the beginning of April. Okay? So, the feeling is going to be very peaceful. There's going to be a need for you to withdraw. Okay? From the, the worldly hustle and bustle. And to go within maybe soul search, maybe find some answers. Okay, this emperor is shining a light on something. Okay, sometimes we have to slow down, okay, in order to be able to see things more clearly. Because when we're rushing around, sometimes we miss the signs of things. We, we don't hear our intuition. We don't sense our gut feelings because we're too busy. So this is telling you in the beginning of the month, you're going to need to go within, okay, take some time to reflect, Withdraw from the outside world. And you're going to find some type of answer, some type of inner wisdom, okay, regarding some matter that's been, you know, concerning you. So all of the answers that you need are within yourself, but we just need to get ourselves some quiet time, okay, and some deep introspection time in order to be able to access those answers. So maybe meditation, if you're into meditation, that'd be perfect. Or just basically getting a lot more quiet time. You know, to be able to sort out your thoughts, to be able to hear, you know, what your mind is telling you. And then in the middle of the month, we have judgment. Okay. And the judgment card is a very beautiful card. Um, there she is in this white flowing gown with the angel wings. And it's such a, a gentle, gentle type of energy. And when I look at this in the middle of the month, what I'm thinking is, is whatever seeds you've planted previously, okay, you're going to be rewarded for you're going to feel like a sense of rebirth in the middle of the month. So maybe the answers that you're seeking in the beginning of the month is going to lead you to this feeling in the middle of the month where you're going to have some type of a new beginning, some type of a renewal, some type of revival. Okay. It's kind of like a phoenix rising from the ashes. That's, that's what I think of it as, you know, sometimes things could get so bad that we hit such rock bottom about something and there's no other way but to go up. And that's the feeling here. It's a feeling of rebirth. Okay. So it's basically a card of karma. Okay. So whatever your past efforts were, your positive actions were, they're going to bear fruit and, and you're going to be Coming back to life, let's put it that way. Maybe something in your life that was dormant or stagnant or stuck, okay, is going to have new beginnings to it, okay? You're going to feel rejuvenated, okay? Maybe you've been struggling with some type of anxiety or maybe a health problem, and that's going to show some type of improvement, but it's going to be time to be happy in the middle of the month. You're getting a new beginning in an area of your life, and you're going to feel this rebirth. It's going to be amazing. And then at the end of the month, we have the King of Wands. And this is a very creative man. Okay, this could be the energy that surrounds you. Okay, or this could be a person in your life. Okay, this could actually symbolize you. But the King of Wands is the kind of person that's enthusiastic. He goes after what he wants. He's the kind of person that gets bored easily. He's a go-getter. He's like an entrepreneur. He goes after what he wants. He doesn't wait for things to come to him. He goes out and makes stuff happen. So probably because of this rebirth and this rejuvenation, this new beginning, you're feeling like this. You're feeling creative again. You're feeling enthusiastic again. You're, you're feeling like you have a whole new lease on life. So take your time in the beginning of the month. Go within. Reflect. Find the answers that you need. And it's going to be a beautiful month. Absolutely beautiful month. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.